Only 2% of men do this and women love it. Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Anna and boy, do I have something exciting for you today. You want to be the type of guy who stands out from the others, right? Well, you know how in the past we've talked about red flags and the types of things women will normally run a mile from? Well, today we are switching things up and discussing the polar opposite, the elusive green flags that women are completely infatuated by in guys. Yep, that's correct. The rare gems that actually possess all six of these green flags make up just about 2% of the entire male population. And trust me, us ladies cannot get enough of them. Now, fellas, are you intrigued and itching to join this exclusive club of irresistible men? If so, you are in the perfect spot. In today's video, I will be spilling the tea on six key traits that only 2% of men possess, and spoiler alert, us women absolutely adore them. You won't believe how these seemingly small quirks can make a lady's heart race in no time. Make sure to stick around until the end where I'll be revealing what I personally consider to be the most important trait you need if you want to be successful with women. Just a quick word of warning, I can already tell that some of these suggestions may cause an influx of negative comments. I get it, that happens from time to time. And people feel the need to express their feelings and differing opinions and they're completely welcome. However, if you want to help balance things out, please leave a little positive comment for me so it's not all doom and gloom when I read all your messages. Anyway, with that out the way, are you ready to dive in and uncover these secrets? Before we get going, please press that red button to subscribe to the channel and comment I've subscribed so we can thank you. Let's go. Say no to fragile masculinity. You know how guys often feel the need to be all tough and manly around women? This might be something you experience yourself or have noticed play out with people you know or on TV or social media. Well, let's have a little chat about it. This need to always be perceived as an ultra manly man can do a lot of damage to your ability to bond with a woman. So I need you to hear me out as I want the best for you, okay? I'm going to give you an example to think about in just a moment, but first, here's a fun fact. Even from a scientific standpoint, guys have both X and Y chromosomes, which means there's always a bit of feminine side with them, no matter how macho they try to be. Embracing that side might feel a little bit scary at first, but it's totally natural. There's no need to flex your masculinity at every turn or believe that joining in on traditional girly activities somehow makes you less of a man. Guess what? Women love it when guys are at ease with their feminine side, so don't be afraid to show it off. Here is an example. Picture this. You've got a close friend you're interested in and she wants to have a little fun by painting your nails or testing some makeup on your face. If you put up your defenses and snap back with, no way, why would I do that? I'm a man, this is crazy. Well, that's a total buzzkill for her and she might think twice about actually hanging out with you. While women definitely appreciate manly qualities in a partner, what they truly want is someone who's cool with any situation and doesn't put limits on the fun that they can have together. So go ahead, let your guard down, fellas. It might just be the key to winning her heart. Affirmations go a long way. We all have our good and bad days. And as the saying goes, every person is a different train wreck. And that's certainly true, right? In this unpredictable world where chaos can strike out of nowhere, words of affirmation can really make a difference. If this is completely new to you, I encourage you to approach this with an open mind and simply try things. What's the worst that could happen? Imagine the woman you are interested in is having a tough day. Maybe she failed an exam, had trouble sleeping, or is dealing with some other issue she can't speak up about. In such a situation, you could leave a note in her notebook or bag that says, hey, I know you're feeling low. It's okay if you don't want to share. Just know that you are amazing and that you matter. Or sending an affirming text message can go a long way. These may just be words, but trust me, they can make all the difference. Your place in her life can go from the ground to the sky, and she'll know that someone cares and is there for her without being desperate to know the issue. Compliments are effective, but women often receive praise for their physical appearance. So try appreciating how far she's come in her studies, her career, or even on her road to adulthood, and voila, she'll be head over here for you in no time. 
be her safe haven. Given the many cases of men taking advantage of women, it's a concern that women are constantly thinking about when they are considering a relationship with someone new. Being a green flag man means making sure the woman you like, whether you are dating her or not, feels physically, emotionally, and mentally safe around you. She should trust you no matter the time of day and feel comfortable in your presence. So how can you achieve this? Pay attention to any gestures you might be making that could make her uncomfortable, such as excessive touching. When a woman sees that a man understands her personal space, respects it, and prioritizes her comfort, she tends to develop feelings for him. What girl wouldn't want a gentleman who is always there to make her feel safe? Be sure to provide her with physical comfort whenever she needs it. Analyze the situation and do what's best for her. If she needs a hug or wants to cuddle, provide that for her. If she needs alone time, giving her space while letting her know that you are still there if she needs you. This sensitive approach is quite effective in building trust and strengthening your relationship with her. Not many men can effectively build this type of comfortability early on with a woman. So by ensuring you show this level of consideration for her, she'll notice that you are different to the other guys out there. Cleanliness. You guessed it guys, we are diving into the world of personal hygiene. Now I know what you're thinking, how on earth does my cleanliness affect whether a woman likes me or not? Let me break it down for you. When you take care of your personal hygiene, it shows in your appearance, from brushing your hair to rocking the right outfit for the occasion, and most importantly, smelling like a dream. Picture this for a moment. Would you want to hang out with a woman who reeks, is constantly sweaty, looks like they just rolled out of bed and hasn't seen a shower in forever? Yeah, it's not exactly appealing, is it? But when she turns up looking her best and smells of an alluring perfume, it just hits different, doesn't it? So the next time you are around that special someone, keep these tips in mind and don't skimp on the deodorant or even the cologne. Trust me, a captivating scent can work wonders, my friends. And don't forget to dress to impress and show off your unique style. Before you know it, she'll be head over heels for your well-groomed self. Stop mansplaining. We've arrived at a touchy subject, but hear me out, okay? Keep an open mind with each of these tips and don't just scroll past the next one thinking, I don't need to hear about that. A lot of it comes down to your intentions, body language, and how you say things. It's surprisingly easy to come across as mansplaining even if you never meant to. So let's dive into this and help you avoid those awkward situations that could have been totally prevented. If you're not familiar with the term mansplaining, it's something that guys really need to be aware of as this could completely put a woman off of you. Have you ever seen a dude talk down to a woman, making her feel like she's not so bright? Well, that's mansplaining in action. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing bad about helping someone understand something, but it's all about how you do it, and this is where most people get themselves in trouble, often unintentionally. Your body language and tone of voice can make or break the situation. If you start spewing random facts and figures or acting like you are the expert and she's clueless, or even worse, making her feel like she's just not smart enough, well, that's a big no, no, no. It's not a good look and it'll drive women away and that's not something you want to be doing, right? Instead, try to be understanding and empathetic when answering her questions or clearing up any confusion. Trust me, a little kindness goes a long way and will leave a lasting impression. Consistency is key, so this is the one I personally think is the most crucial if you really want to stand out. I can't emphasize enough just how important consistency is when it comes to a woman's feelings for you. No one likes mixed signals or hot and cold behavior, right? If you're super sweet one day and then rude and distant the next, it'll only push her away. Even if she's head over heels for you, there's a limit to how much inconsistency she can take before she throws in the towel. So to avoid this, make sure you are consistent in how you treat her and communicate with her. Be kind, talk to her with respect, and show up when she needs you. Inconsistency can not only make her lose her feelings for you, but it can also hurt her self-esteem and potentially damage the relationship beyond repair. And that's something you want to avoid, right? Keep in mind that while these traits might seem small, they can lead to a major shift in how a woman feels about you. If you want to join the Green Flag 2% Club, follow these tips, be also mindful of which situations call for which traits and how to use them. Every person and relationship is unique, so always take that into account. Before you go, show some love for this video and let us know your thoughts in the comments. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Best of luck on your journey by sweeping women off their feet.